Hey, your brothers. So in this video today, brothers, we are going to be discussing a video where Lil Wayne exposes Chris Paul. So let's get into this video. They're going to talk and I'm going to interject. I'm going to quote unquote chime in. I'm going to quote unquote give my tuition. Well, let me get to the damn video, bro. Paul after the game last night. Wayne and CP3 have been friends for years and the rapper was cheering on Chris Paul at State. Ain't gonna cap. I thought Lil Wayne was his mom or something. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And isn't that ironic how CP3 scores 41, 41 against the LA Clippers to close them out in six games? Bro, I should have saw this shit coming. I'm an idiot. I honestly deserve to get roasted. I should have saw this. I should have. I should have saw this shit coming. And he wears the number three. Bro, so much Javante in this shit. What the fuck? How did I not notice this shit? Just came three, four, and six as he sat directly across from the Suns bench. Bro, and he closed him out on 6.30. That was, that was the day. Man, this is so much Javante. I can't believe I missed this shit. Oh, wait, I didn't. I said Suns and six. <laughs> Now joined by legendary rapper, friend of the show, Lil Wayne. Wayne, it's so great. That nigga look like he on that Cody. <laughs> Fuck no. To have you. And honestly, watching that embrace, it was emotional. Sorry for positive, but bro, Jenny Taft can get it, bro. She can get Jenny Taft can get my shaft. Bars. Oh, what did it mean to Chris Paul last night? Uh, thanks for having me. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are great. Yeah, we good. We good. We good, baby. Yeah. We good. <laughs> First of all, Miss Jenny, it was at, it was very emotional. I actually, I oh look at look at Lil Wayne being all polite and shit. I like oh, I like Lil Wayne. I ain't gonna lie to you, brothers. He seems like a really um he seems like a chill dude. Now some of y'all niggas now I had some niggas tell me that he thought he was a tranny. I don't know why you would think that, bruh. Don't know what kind of females you're dealing with, but that's not my business. Uh, thanks for having me. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are great. Yeah, we good. We good. We good, baby. Yeah. We good. <laughs> First of all, Miss Jenny, it was at, it was very emotional. I actually, I bro, Miss Jenny is so fucking. But I'm calling her Miss Jenny. I'm sorry, brothers. I may sound thirsty. I don't give a fuck. I would thrash Jenny, bro. Even though I only got like two inches, I would thrash her with every inch, bro. Cannot lie. I had tears. No homo. I can't lie. Let me rewind this shit and get this shit proper context. Hold on, let me put my phone on do not disturb so nobody interrupts me. <laughs> my, videos, my, bro, my videos are so professional. I just love it. It was emotional. What did it mean to Chris Paul last night? Uh, thanks for having me. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are great. Yeah, we good. We good. We good, baby. Yeah. We good. <laughs> First of all, Miss Jenny, it was at, it was very emotional. I actually, I cannot lie. I had tears in my eyes. I can't lie. Mm. So actually, when he 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 wanted me to come over there. So <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This nigga's voice is so robotic, bro. <laughs> Bray was like, "Nah." He pulled the rope. He's like, "Nah, you 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 belong over here. You belong over here." I was like, "Nah." You know what I mean? I don't want nothing to go wrong with y'all team. You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm I'm a little too emotional. So I just I watched from the sideline. It was awesome. Mm. So. Mr. Carter, we do appreciate mm -hmm. you either getting up early with us or maybe staying up because you probably partied all night with Chris Paul. That's no, what I'm guessing. Studio, studio skip. Studio. Yeah, thank you. Studio. So help us out on this. I'm assuming that you first connected with Chris Paul <clears throat> somewhere back in New Orleans during his rookie year, which would be 05, 06, that Carter. 05, 06. You see the Gematria? What is six times five? Thirty. They close out the Clippers on the thirtieth. You gotta catch that shit, man. Uh, two. Uh, yeah, two had just come out, Thanks. and exactly. you were just emerging as the most. Fuck it, I don't give a fuck. I'm pausing again. And there's another thing. People keep saying, "Why are they celebrating, bro?" The Suns have had no real success since the Charles Barkley days, and when they did, fucking, they lost to Michael Jordan in the damn finals. And here's another thing, Chris Paul. This is his first finals appearance. So this is a big deal for him. So this is all I'm going to say. The Suns better win the finals. They don't win the finals. Bruh. I'm happy to videos up on this later, but fuck, man. Dominant in the rap game, and, and he was emerging, obviously, as the rookie of the year in the NBA. 
did you connect some point when he first came to New Orleans, which is your hometown? I did. Obviously. I I did because um we did because uh he he actually had a condo. He had a condo and we had a condo in the same the same mm -hmm. building. And of course I had, then I got season tickets and once I got season tickets we became brothers, man. Of course, along with his brother CJ and his whole family, and his mom, everybody all just embraced me as like a brother, like one of their own. And and it feels to me, knowing you the way I know you, that that you do consider Chris seriously like a real brother, right? Brothers of Luciferianism, allegedly. A real brother, for real, for real, a real brother. Chris has been there for me during the dark times. I've been there right there for him doing the same. Yep, bend on your knees. So can you share a little bit of what he yelled in your ear and you yell back in, in his ear? Why? Yeah, I bet y'all yell, bet you, bet you yell a lot of things in each other's ear, especially in the bedroom, allegedly. You were embracing last night? First thing he said was, the first thing he said was like, you deserve to be, you got to be over here. You've been here. You've been with me from day one. You've yeah. been with me. You've been with me. And then the only thing I said back to him, I kept repeating the same thing is you deserve this. You deserve this. Wow. And w then what happened after the game? Did you go somewhere with the family to celebrate? Uh, no, actually, um, I had to shoot a video. <laughs> oh, did you? Okay. I to to, yeah, I had to go to the video set, yeah. Wait, tell him you had just watched that man put in work. That Just because he put in work, that don't mean my work stopped. I got to go I, do I, my I, thing. I got to go do my thing. I had to go put in my work, right? That was motivating. Wait, I believe this means everything to Chris. When you play 16 years and you're as accomplished as he is and never to ever have gotten a bite, let alone eaten, you had a bite of the fruit. I mean, he, now he has the fruit in his hand. It's up to him for the, to win four games and actually bite that fruit. Now he gets to cement his name. It's kind of like you. You knew what you could do. You just needed that opportunity. He got with a team that had some young guys that just needed some direction, just needed some leadership. They got the right coach in Monty Williams. DeAndre Ayton uh -huh. is a rising big man. Devin Booker is an assassin. He's a bucket getter. And now yes, you bring Chris Paul with that leadership. They're going to the NBA Finals. What do you think this moment means to him right now in winning a championship? What would that mean to Chris? All right, brother. So I wanted to let him talk for a comment. Real quick, I'm going to say this. I'm genuinely, like, I'm not going to lie to you, brothers. I'm genuinely kind of happy for Chris Paul in a way because he has pretty much been a laughing stock. CP3, they used to call him CP0 because he had no ring. So he hasn't won. But like I said, if he doesn't win the title this year, bruh, this will forever be a. Bro, it, it, literally, if the Suns don't, like, I hope you brothers understand this, Chandler. I'm I'm getting excited, but I don't give a fuck. I'm being me, whether people like it or not. But, bro, if the Suns don't win the title this year, bro, like, this is honestly, like, this is really, like, the next series, I don't even think I'll need Jamachi unless a fucking injury happens. Now, like I said, brothers, the numbers say that CP3 may get injured in the finals. Like, I, I'm hoping that, that doesn't happen because I don't want it because, bro, but fuck, like, this is what I'm saying, bro. The Suns have to win the title next year. Not not next year. What the fuck? In the, <laughs> in the finals, bro. Because, brothers, understand when I say this shit. Literally, the only two teams left are the fucking Hawks and the Bucks. We all understand that. We have common sense. Both those teams are fucking riddled with injuries, right, to their main. It's, it's the, have, you, have you brothers not noticed this shit? I'm going to make a video on this. Have you not fucking noticed how it's the major player on every team getting hurt? Like with, I mean, I guess the Nets, it was Harden and Kyrie, two major players. The Bucks is Giannis, then it's Trey Young, it's, it's Donovan Mitchell, it's LeBron and AD. It's the main guys. It's not the bench fucking players. It's the main players getting hurt, like Kawhi and Ibaka. It's not the, it's not the role players. That's the point. This is lining up for like Chris Paul. Really, the Suns are the healthiest team left. The survival of the fittest. And all I'm gonna say, brother, is that these motherfuckers don't win. I'm going to rip, bro. I'm going to dig in. Like, I'm going to dig in on, on, on the Suns, bro. Let's get back to the damn video. Unk, I think me, you, Skip, and Miss Jenny, and everybody watching, know that would mean more than the world to Chris. For Chris, I think you know all the all the things we keep we keep hearing about. You know about the the asterisks and all the who's hurt and who's not. I know one person who that does not mean a thing to, and that's CP. Hmm. Hmm. So you did also go to Phoenix for game five. 
Yeah. What what was the mood like at the end of that game among the Suns fans? And I assume you talked to Chris after that game also, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The mood the mood amongst the fans were they were you know they there's some great people out there, Skip. They were so they were so happy that they that the team was just where they are. You know, and they also and they also very confident. They're confident like the team. And so they they kind of you know it's kind of like they 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 was they everybody was okay like 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 no no panic what uh what that that guy number twelve said R E L A X something like that yeah right. you you know what you know what hey, <laughs> Pat let, you, we were talking during the break hold on brothers sorry I'm, I'm gonna just interject here brothers so this is what I have to say brothers um, I've been to Arizona man I've been to Phoenix bro I'm gonna just say this for you niggas that ever wanna go out there hot weather hundred degree weather hot bitches just being honest with y'all, bad looking, bro. The broads are so good. Like, I love, I love, I love hoes, bro. The broads look so good out there. I'm not even gonna call them broads. I'm gonna call them, uh, I'm gonna call them shorties. The shorties out there look so good. The weather's good. It's just a lot of nature, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Arizona, like I said, I like Arizona. That's, that's one of the places that I, I've always loved. It's really hot compared to Brooklyn, compared to down long, fuck, downtown Brooklyn. Is, it's way different, brothers, but. Yeah, Arizona has some nice people out there, man. Most of them niggas are always high as fuck though, because you know we legalize, so they're just baked up the damn mind and, and just and just freaking off and partying. So for any of you weed smoking niggas on my channel, go to AZ or some shit. And when you were in Phoenix, you said a certain gentleman that played for the opposing team that happened to shove CP3 in the back. Subscribe! <laughs> you said, yeah, he struck up a conversation with you when you were on the sideline. Can you 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 care to share about what he was talking about? I had on, I had coincidentally, I had a nice little orange uh, button down on. He just wanted to make sure he just making shit like, man, you you rooting for you, man? You got the orange on and all that. I was just like, uh, you know, a little laugh, a little chuckle. Pat Pat been my dog though. Pat been my he been rocking with me since day one. Pat been rocking with. me. Are you surprised that he did that to Chris at the uh, at the time at the break that he shoved him in the back like he did? I would say I'd be surprised that surprised at the uh, at the severity of what he did. Right. Uh, surprised that him doing it. Surprised that his, you know what I mean what he do now nah, is never surprising. But at the at doing you know what I mean going that far, yeah, yeah. Mm. So yeah, I got a video dropping on that, but I was just um, kind of stupid, honestly, with Pat Chip Beverly did. Very ignorant because allegedly this guy has a torn leg ligament in his wrist. I'm talking about um Chris Paul. Let's say he breaks his wrist. Like that's this ignorant shit, man. But we'll get right to the, the video. Oh, what was Chris's mood like in the Phoenix locker room after that game five home loss coming back to Staples for game six? Um he, he uttered these words, he, it was real short and quick, was uh be there. Like be that with, I need you to be there, and uh, I need you to be there. We taking it. That's what it was. We taking okay. it. I need you to be there. Oh man, I sure wish you to relay that to me, cause then I could have got me. Like, I could have got me about forty cases to do. Cause C <laughs> if CP3 say be so there, funny. we taking it. I got fifty cases on the sword. Well, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, brothers. This is my Skip Bayless. I I like Skip, man. Like I, I understand a lot of the shit that he does now. I I see. I understand him. He, he's a troll. And honestly, in real life, like outside of this like TV shit, he really don't care about half these people. To be honest with you, this is all this is all like a business for him. You know what I'm saying? Like it's about the money. Like I don't even think he cares about LeBron in his quote unquote real life. I believe he does a lot of that shit just to troll y'all. Cause I mean, understand, you know, the Bible says that you only proud of seventy. This nigga's about to turn seventy if he's not already seventy. So Skip knows he doesn't have much time. Let's he's even acknowledge that in his damn videos. So it's like you know. He's just trolling at this point. <laughs> Wayne, you also told me that after the game three loss at Staples, obviously they came down 0-2, the Clippers were down 0-2, but Clippers won game three, and you told me, Chris told you right after the game, we're going to win it in six, right? And he was mm -hmm. dead on the money. Yeah. Yeah. We we win it in six. We won this thing in six. Mm. <laughs> Playoff P, Master P. Sons and six. Stop mm. it. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter to pee. It don't matter to pee. It don't matter. It's six. So, Wayne, speaking of playoff P, what did you see through this series from Paul George? Honestly, brothers, 
I've not seen the series this the same way, brothers, but um Personally, what I saw, this is my personal perspective. I think that Paul George, you know, he did a good job this playoff series. I mean, he didn't have Kawhi Leonard, so there's no real expectations on him. I think he did good. I think he played good enough. Hopefully, you know, a lot of the criticism died down some. I mean, he did what he could do. You know, I, I think he, I think he showed that he got his toughness back together. He shouldn't have relayed that information. You don't relate to your, you don't relate to your enemies, your weakness. That's his ignorance. Like a sob story. Boo-hoo, mental health, that sounds nice, but fuck, I'm not even going to get into that shit. I saw, I saw Paul George, to me, I saw Paul George go back to that very disciplined, that disciplined player that, that can, you know, that can get everything you want out of him when he was in Indiana. Mm -hmm. That's what I I agree. So that's, that's the Paul George I saw this, this, this whole playoff, especially when times got tough. He turned, you know, back then, I thought that back then when he was with Indiana, he was just so disciplined. Type of guy that, you know, you know, type of guy scored a touchdown. I'm using these analogies. Um, scored a touchdown and wouldn't, wouldn't celebrate. He yeah. was that kind of guy. You know what I mean? And that's who he turned into again. Hmm. Not so much last night, though. But, <laughs> but here's the thing, though. There's a difference. We, we, look, we got a lot of these young rappers. They coming up and they say, well, he this, well, he that one. But they ain't wheezy. Mm. They can't do what you do when they ain't. When they just say, come in the studio, hey, I need you to come in the studio and drop this track for me. You show up, and you drop that track, and that thing fire. Because <laughs> with the expectations, they already know when baby get, baby get on that feature, they already know how you're going to do it. So now the expectations of Paul George after what he did in Phoenix, mm. hey, we need you on this track. Can you do that thing again? And he came on this feature and let us down. Now we got to find somebody else to put on the feature. <laughs> hey, brothers, real quick. There's a song by, um, there's a song, there's two songs by, um, that, um, Wheezy <laughs> or Lil Wayne that, that is his in, bro. One song is called Forever by Drake. I'm sure you brothers know that shit. That song's lit. There's another song I, I love by him, actually. It's called Love Me. You know, the words, like, you know, that good cushion alcohol. You know that song? That shit's fire as fuck. If you were to check, listen to that shit. I promise you'll get the draws. Bars. Oh, my God. I mean, don't even do it again if you're not going to do it better than the last time. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Wayne, we are happy for you. We're happy <laughs> Jenny, for Chris. Jenny Taft, you look so beautiful, baby. But um, that'll be it for this video, brothers. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think about Lil Wayne's hair. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Lil Wayne in general. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Suns and the... Um, the series. I told you, brothers, that the Suns are going to win in six. So for any niggas that cashed out individually, because here's another thing, but I went to the end of the video to say this shit. A lot of y'all been messaging me on Instagram, asking about picks, and and I and I keep trying to tell you, niggas, at the beginning of every series, I give you brothers the fucking pick winner. Like I literally told y'all Suns in six, like I told y'all Suns in four, and I told y'all um, how I told y'all the Suns are going to sweep. Like I, I've been giving y'all every series. I mean, give me all the exact numbers too. Like with Bucks and seven and shit. Like I, like I've literally been giving. Like I told y'all Hawks and seven. Like I literally have been giving my Hawks six or whatever. But I've been literally giving y'all every fucking series, bro. Sure, the games are not always accurate, but the series prediction is right because the Jamachi is clear about that. Like I said in in these videos, the videos that I've quote unquote been wrong and whatever I said. I said the numbers say this, so if you want to go by the numbers, bet on this. Now, me personally, there's some games where I look at the numbers and I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Like, 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 like I remember brothers like yesterday, um, well not yesterday, but um, earlier today, when I was not earlier today, it was yesterday, earlier today. I don't remember brothers. I was, yeah, it was yesterday, brother. Yesterday, um, I was going to upload a video about the um, the Bucks game, right? Was it yesterday? Hold up, brothers. That's right. The Bucks and Hawks haven't played yet. This is this. Is, oh, I'm tripping, brothers. Sorry, the Bucks and Hawks haven't played yet, brothers. But yeah, so there was a video that I was about to upload, but I said fuck it. But the numbers, like I said, the numbers are saying the Bucks should win this game later tonight. Like I filmed this video early, early the other day. So the problem that we're kind of having is that I could be wrong about my predictions in this video, but I I won't even get credit if I'm right because this video will probably be uploaded like tomorrow type shit. It won't be uploaded today before the game starts, but yeah, brothers. Peace.